You know something? You know what's the worst part about this whole situation is? Is that when I was growing up, people used to preach against things that is considered a sin. And, you know, when you're a kid, if you even thought about supporting something like that, you would get the you would get a pretty hard beating or you get you would get punished. At least it's how I grew up. But now these same people that indoctrinate me and other people that are my age, you know, make us conform or try to make us conform to something and then then they want to flip flop and support the very thing that they would beat you for when you were a kid. You know, I find that pretty dang messed up. That is why people are very messed up in this society. Hypocrites. That's the biggest problem we got in society. Hypocrites. The problems are not the homosexuals. The problems are not the Christians. The, pro the problem is not just a particular group of people. It's hypocrites that teach you a certain way growing up. So you think that something's a sin, and all of a sudden, they expect you to flip-flop. They turn it all upside down. And all of a sudden, they expect you to start going along with them. This is why I don't trust and believe people anymore. They cause all this hurt. All these issues. The biggest problem in society is hypocrites. Hypocrites are the biggest society. Even Jesus didn't like hypocrites. You saw how he got on to the, you know, the Pharisees. Because they're hypocrites. They have laws that are convenient for them. Sure, back in the day, I mean, people would beat you for that. They would they would punish you for that. That they'd fire you, they'd kick you out of the military for that. And now it's all flip flopped. Like, now it's okay. This is why I don't trust the government. This is why I don't trust a lot of people anymore. Because they flip flop on me. I don't know who to believe anymore. It's like everything I was taught to believe is now for nothing, it seems like. I still believe in God and Jesus Christ, though. I know Jesus Christ is real. When Jesus Christ shows up in an EF5 tornado that's about to kill you, you know he's real. That happened to me. That's why I believe Jesus Christ. I rededicated my life to him after I survived the tornado in 2011. That should have killed me. Now, Jesus is real. God is real. But as far as people goes, people that claim they're Christians, people I grew up with that used to be hardcore Christians, like, yeah, homosexuality sin, abortion's a sin, yeah, yeah, yeah. And now they flip-flop, and they're judging me. I'm being judged by so-called Christians! You know what bothers me more than anything? Hypocrites. You know what? You hypocrites have created a world of hurt for everybody. You raise us to believe in certain standards and you indoctrinate us and then you want to flip-flop and you want to call me a hater? You want to make me you want to make me out to be a retard idiot? I'm sick of you fools. You're nothing but hypocrites and I'm never gonna trust to believe anything you have to say ever again. You know what? I hate to be in your shoes when God deals with you. You know what? I've known so-called sinners that are more honest than you. I got more respect for a sinner, a so-called sinner, than I do for these hypocrites. I'd rather talk to a, a sinner who's honest about their issues than to talk to someone that that is a hypocrite. Oh, I'm a Christian, and, and if you do that, I'm going to beat you for that. And then you flip-flop on me. What up with that, man?
You hypocrite! You freaking hypocrite! I rebuke you in Jesus' name for that. I rebuke you. You hypocrites have done nothing but hurt society. And you people are the ones that have destroyed relationships, you destroy families, and you destroy society as a whole. I'd rather deal with someone who's honest, even if they are living a sinful lifestyle. I would I would trust someone that's honest. Even in the I mean, I'm not saying I'd go and commit the same sin they're committing, but at least they're honest. And by the way, I have a cool friend who is a homosexual. I'm not going to put their name on here for a reason, but at least they're honest. They're honest with me. They are the most honest people. I they they, they admit that they're living in sin, but at least they're honest. They don't lie to me. They don't play mind games with me. And even though I'm a Christian, and even though I don't believe in their lifestyle, I got more respect than for so-called hypocrite, hip, you know, all these hypocrite Christians I grew up with that would get on to me if they even knew that I was friends with a homosexual. And now they want to flip-flop. You hurt the both of us. You hurt both the Christians and the sinners. And no wonder sinners don't want to listen to Christians. Because you hypocrites ruin you twist Jesus' teachings. You you just, you lie. It's all for your convenience. You just want to go along with the program because it fits you. And then you want everybody else to go along with it. If you can't be honest, then you're not worth talking to. You are a piece of garbage. And you will be judged. I think hypocrites are going to really get blasted by God when Judgment Day comes. You hypocrites ruined society. And I have zero respect for you. I'm sorry. But how dare you? How dare you? You know what? You hypocrites make the few of us true Christians that are actually trying to live the right way, you make us look like we're the bad guys, like we're haters. But you know what? You are a bunch of liars. And you know what? Liars are the kind of people that God does not like. You're going to get blasted by God. You're going to find yourself dealing with brimstone yourself for lying. For hurting all those souls of people. And look here, folks. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to everyone that's had to deal with a hypocrite. I'm really sorry. I'm sorry to both Christians and non-believers. I'm sorry to everybody. No one deserves to deal with a hypocrite. Everybody deserves the truth. And even, the, even those of you that are living a sinful lifestyle, I'm sorry to you too. I have no hate toward you. I understand why you're confused. As you're dealing with a bunch of hypocrites that call themselves Christians. And they lie to you. And they betray you and they hurt you. So you don't know what to believe. You know what? That's why you have to have a personal relationship with Jesus Christ. you got to get close to Jesus Christ. Stop listening to hypocrites. If somebody is telling you, and they're beating into you, this is a sin, this is a sin, and then they flip-flop, and they start supporting that sin, they just lie to your face. They lie to you. Or you're raised up to be a certain way, you know? It's like going through Christian homeschool and all this other stuff, like, that's a sin. If you do sin, you're going to get docked, and you're going to be punished. And then all of a sudden, it's like, oh, well, we need to support this now. You know what? You freaking hypocrites ruined my life, and you ruin other people's lives. You messed us up. And you wonder why we have issues? You wonder why we can't cope in society, and we can't have relationships and hold down a job? Because you are hypocrites. Just like the Navy. Oh, we're always going to be shipmates, and then you kick us out for a minor issue. You freaking hypocrites. God has a special judgment for you. Don't you go around with a high and mighty attitude, you hypocrites. Because you know what? You are a big liar. And you're going to be dealt with by God. I am 
filled with righteous anger toward these hypocrites. And I am serious. I am apologizing. As a Christian, I feel the responsibility to apologize. I am sorry to all peoples. I am sorry to all people out there. I don't care what your background is. I don't care what your religion is or what you believe in. But I am sorry for any of you for having to deal with a hypocritical Christian that changes their doctrine. They don't even stick with the Word of God. They change their doctrine to benefit them, to benefit their church. Christians are supposed to help others, not benefit themselves. I am so sorry, people. I'm so sorry. As a Christian, I would like to apologize for all the fakers out there that proclaim to be Christians all this time, and then they flip-flop on you. And they start they start thinking, oh, well, now it's cool. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry to my dear friends. And you know what? I still love you, my dear friends. Even if you are living in sin, if you're a homosexual, if you're straight, even if you're struggling with drugs or alcohol or any kind of sin, I still love you. I'm going to stand firm on my Christian beliefs, but I still love you. And I still want to be your friend. And I'm so sorry that these hypocrites have flip-flopped and just lie. I am angry at a lot of Christian people that I thought were true Christians right now. Fake Christians. Hypocritical Christians. I'm so disappointed with you. How dare you! You have no room to speak. But to get on your knees and repent. You better get on your knees and you better repent. I have a lot to say to you hypocrites. God's not done with you either. So. Mm -mm. So I'm just going to straight up just say I'm fed up with Christian hypocrites. You make all the very few good Christians look bad. You are a mockery to Jesus Christ and God and the Holy Spirit. How dare you? How dare you, hypocrites? How dare you teach one doctrine and beat it into people and then change your doctrine down the road just so you can look good in the eyes of society so it's convenient for you so you can get more money and more wealth and more fame in this world? You're not a true Christian. You just use Christ you just use the title being a Christian to please others, but you're only trying to please yourself. You just want all our money. You don't care if someone's a sinner or not. You just want their money. You just want you just want something from them. You just want to use them. Use and abuse people. You don't use and abuse people. You don't ever use and abuse people. I know what it's like to be used and abused. You don't do that. That scars people. And you're going to be judged for that. You will answer the God for that. So, yep. You know why I'm smiling? I'm not smiling because I'm happy with you hypocrites. I'm smiling because God is going to make everything all right. But seriously, my dear friends, whether you're a Christian or not, no matter what your lifestyle is, I sincerely apologize for the hypocrites that screw everything up. I'm sorry. But I promise you, my dear friends, I'm going to strive to be a true Christian, and I will continue to strive to be a true Christian, and I won't be a hypocrite. I won't lie to you. It all boils down to honesty, people. Without honesty, things will never work out. So, hypocrites, you better repent. Because you're going to have to answer to God for all the lives you've messed up. You've messed up people's lives, countless people's lives. <laughs> So, yeah. 
basically, I am fed up with hypocrites.